So hello everyone, it's your girl Jail Beauty 7 here, aka Grace, and today we're finally gonna get into my um Barbie collection from ColourPop. So I ended up buying the whole collection just because it was just too cute to resist. Plus, I figured the two things I don't use, which I put on the top, the lashes, and the mirror, we can put in the 500 giveaway for YouTube when I finally make it to 500 followers. So um, I'm going to start off with the highlight, of course, because I haven't finished my face because I knew I had to put on this particular highlighter. I don't like how flimsy my box is. It looks real disrespectful. Like, it came halfway open, y'all. I, I don't appreciate it, ColourPop. I paid $100 for all this stuff. You can at least keep the box closed. Thank you. Anyway, so um, I'm going to open it up. So this is what it looks like. It kind of gives me the, um, what's it called? The Chiro Vibes. I'm wondering if it's similar to the shade Chiro that they used to have. And I think I actually have it over in the corner. So I might go grab it real quick and then we can see if it's the same color as Chiro. But first, we're going to swatch it on the back of my hand, put it on my face, and then we'll go from there. So let's see. I don't think Ch Chiro is a champagne but I will go check. Let's go ahead and put it on the face though because I want to set my face and get that done. I tried the Rare Beauty Cream Blush yesterday and I must say I'm not a fan. I know as much as everyone's been talking about how wonderful they are. Like I put it on like, oh, this is it. Now, I don't know if it's because I had to use a sample one from Sephora and I didn't actually buy it. Because the formula is nice. I just didn't like the way I had to apply it. But again, I don't have the actual um, product to where it came with the um, dabber for you to dab it on. As opposed to having to just randomly stick my finger in it and use it. And then I don't know that I would necessarily have a brush that would work well with it. So I'm feeling like that might be what my issue is with it and why I didn't like it on first application. Um, I'm going to try to find a brush with it again, but so far I'm not impressed at all. Let's go ahead and highlight the other side of my face, y'all. My battery light is um, blinking, so I'm trying to get at least this part done and then I can go get Churro off camera. When I put the new battery in, and then we can, you know, deal with that. So, this is what we look like all highlighted and sacrified. I'm going to go spray my face off camera because I haven't finished my full makeup because I didn't have this on. Then I'll come back and show you all um, this compared to Churro. So, I'll be right. Okay, y'all. So, um, I got the highlighter on, as you can see now. We got the Malibu Barbie eyeshadow palette. So, let's open her up and see what she looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. Y'all know I could do like two or three looks with just this palette. But I think I'm going to just do a pink and blue look. Of course, big surprise right now. I might pop in a little orange just to surprise you. But y'all know me. It's more likely going to be pink and um, blue. So I'm going to go off camera and do that. But I figure we can go ahead and try like a, um, one of the lips on. So I'll show you all the lips now. So that when we get to the end, we can just pick one to put on. And I might swatch the other ones on my hand or something like that. Also, I know people were comparing this to the Amrezy palette. So I figure I'll show them to you side by side. I feel like it's similar to the Amrezy palette and the Palm Springs palette from um, Too Faced. If y'all remember that. And I compared the Too Faced and Palm Springs palette. A while ago, so I tried to put the picture up on my Instagram in addition to putting pictures of both of these up. Or maybe I'll just put the picture in my stories. But this is what both of them look like. As you can see, they have somewhat similar things. But I feel like the Amreezy one has way more darker colors and way more neutrals than the um, ColourPop one. Which I appreciate because I don't like a whole bunch of neutrals, as we all know. Now, I have Dream House. Well, I have all three, you know that. So let's start off with Dream House and see what color it is. I couldn't remember what color it's supposed to be. So this is, looks like it's a more mauve one, which we all know is up my alley. And then it has a matching liner. I think it matches anyway. Oh no, this is much lighter. Oh lord. I don't know how, if I'm being pulled this off y'all. Because it looks a little too cool and light, but, you know. Okay. Let me, I swatched the liner. Let me swatch the lipstick in. Okay, so... That's that first set. I'm liking that one. I might go ahead and use that one. Y'all know how I feel about a mauve moment. But I would obviously have to use a darker liner. So I might um, use that liner combined with another one. Then we have Malibu Sunset. Let's see what she looking like. Um. Oh, okay. This is a more, looks like berry tone one. Yeah, I'll probably use Malibu Sunset. I might go for it like, look at that. Yes. Okay, so let me swatch that one. 
It's definitely uh, more skin tone friendly for me than the other one just based upon the liner. Or maybe I could use the liner from here and do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm most likely going to go with this one for sure. I'm really liking it. But let's see what the last one looks like. But I'm definitely going to put Miss Malibu Sunset to the side because she's more, you know, brown girl friendly-esque. And she doesn't want to go back in the box. She knows we meant to be together. She doesn't want to go back in the box where she belongs. You know, because she just knows. Um, this is Golden Beach. And this is the more, like, nude one, if you will. This kind of reminds me of the color that I love from, um, Julie's Place called Muted. So, that's a nice shade as well. Only thing is, again, with these liners, like, this liner ain't working for the brown people, okay? I mean, I know Miss Barbara is... Oh, yeah, this is way too cool tone and light to be a light on me. I'd have to make it, like... A lipstick color and then put like the gloss the milky gloss that I have from NYX on top of it to make it work for me cuz uh-uh sis uh-uh okay so that's the last one so yeah I, I rarely see myself wearing this one but who knows with the right eye look we might be able to pull it off and make it work but it ain't gonna work with this one so we're gonna go with the one I said we're gonna go with which is Malibu Sunset she and I belong together so I'm going to go off camera now after we have done all those swatches. I'm going to put on Malibu Sunset and then I'll come back with one eye done and we can get that done and then talk about this collection as a whole. Okay, sis? Okay, change of plan. So I decided to do the lipstick on camera with you all before I went off camera to do the eyes. So here we are. Um, see how she looks. That's what she's looking like, and I'm loving it. Yeah, girl, I'm here for this color. Okay, okay, Miss Barbie. This, this, this is Black Barbie here with, with this lip. How you doing? Yes, I love this lip color in particular. And yeah, I am wearing the liner that I showed you all earlier with it. But yes, honey, Miss Miss Malibu Sunset is the one for me. Okay, now I'm gonna do the eyes for real. I don't know if y'all feeling the vibes, but I'm feeling the vibes. I decided to put the um, yellow on the lid. I don't normally put yellow on the lid, but I figured I'd give y'all something different instead of doing the blue and the pink. So I put in the orange and the yellow just to be super extra. So I'm going to start off with the orange on the outer V. The orange is called SoCal. Like I guess So California. And we're going to take that. And it's going to be my outer V shade. Oh, to save time, I just put the color Malibu Memories, which is that blue on my lower lash line off camera. And then I put a blue pencil in my waterline it's not as light as i would have liked but y'all have to remember i'm at my grandma's house and you know my makeup collection lives where i live so but i'm starting to think about just transferring stuff over here just because you know i um have to film here a lot and it would just be more beneficial to me to have you know what i actually need as opposed to just my leftover in my b collection basically being here and then, because I'd put the Urban Decay, like, really pigmented blue pencil on the waterline. But this is one from Essence. And it's not bad. It's just a little dull because I didn't, well, pop, um, sharpen it like I should have before I started. But y'all know, as usual, I'm pressed for time because since I work every day now, I'm always pressed for time. So, I was like, I'm just going to work with it. Now, we're going to take Best Coast, which is the pink. And this is a refer 13, I think. Yes, 13. One of my favorite refer brushes. I'm just going to. Start building that up here, y'all. So I'm going to go squeeze out the eyeshadow primer, and it squeezes, squeezes out way too much. And I didn't even like press the thing, so I was like, "What in the world is going on?" I had to waste like quite a bit of eyeshadow primer, and I was feeling some type of way. And that way was upset because I was like, "I don't like to waste products." So then I was just mad. So that's looking pretty good. Now y'all know I had to take a light shade to dust over all this stuff. So I took the shade Make Waves. And it's the really light, like, beige shade in the corner. And just started dusting over all this so we didn't look as crazy. I'm just mad my eyeshadow primer went up so high. But I'm telling y'all, like, it squirted out way too much. It squirted out enough for me to do, like, five eye looks. I was like, 
on both eyes. I was like, oh, Kaleidos, like, what, what's up with this packaging? Like, trying to see if we make me waste all the products so I buy more. So I was like, I already got a backup of this. So it's like, that, that's not going to work. Or are you just mad because I used the Colourpop palette today instead of yours? Like, what's really going on? Because I don't appreciate this much product coming out. Okay, so to make sure the yellow worked for me, I used this yellow to cut the crease. And then we went ahead and actually put on um, the yellow eyeshadow color. So now we're going to take the shade West Coast. That's what the yellow is named. Let's go pat it on top of here. And I think it actually turned out pretty nice on this eye. The first eye was like not that great, but maybe because I didn't put enough eyeshadow primer on. And that's why all the clay popped out. But like, hey sis, you're not doing it right. Let me go ahead and help you out. But yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Now I just go back in and shade a little bit more. So I went back in and shaded with the orange because I felt like the orange and like the pink kind of disappeared a little bit when I added the orange. Plus it has like that line. That you get when you have to cut the crease sometime. And I don't always necessarily like that line. So I like to go over again. Just because you know that line exists. And I try to cover it as best I can. I'm dreading washing all these brushes. Packing up the car. And then still having to go get gas and stuff. And then um, go home and shower. Just to take all this out. But I didn't have enough time yesterday to do this video. So I was like I did not have a choice. We were just going to have to go with it to this. Just go with it. Okay, so now we got all that set up. I'm gonna take the brush from making waves and do that and then try to put this bottom here a little bit. So what I did was if you can't tell by the inner corner, I have two different inner corner colors on. So I put the pink toward the top and I put the blue toward the bottom. So we're gonna take follow the sun, which is the pink. Start off with it. Now I did end up getting a little bit of the blue in there the first time I did it, so on this side. That's why it has like that purpley twinge to it, because the blue is in it, whereas on this side it's not going to have that. It's going to have the pink. So now I'm going to flip over the brush, which is how I ended up getting it in there. And use Surf's Up and put that on the lower part of the eye. So I'm going to start right up in here. And kind of drag a little bit underneath the lower lash line. Just like we drag the pinks to the upper eye lash line a little bit. Okay, so we are done. And I feel like I somewhat look crazy, but once I put up my cute little ponytail, my little pigtails, or whatever I'm going to do, I figured my blue bandana would tie in nicely with the blue on the bottom of my lower lash line. I've been using this Sky High Mascara in conjunction with the Bite Beauty um, one because I'm trying to use up the sample before it um, dries out. And I must say, like, them together is amazing. Like, that's what's on the other eye right now. And as you can see, like, I look like I actually have lashes. And I'm like... Who am I, honey? Because we all know I know. Like, you see my Instagram pictures. The majority of the time, I forget to put on mascara. But I feel like when I put on this mascara, like, I can just tell. Only thing is, I feel like it's transferring on my lids. When I use this with the yellow, I don't know if it's because it's yellow, it's so obvious. But, like, in, in the corner toward this part up here, like, honey, you can see the mascara. So, I'm hoping you don't see it um, in the pictures because I don't plan on having the camera that close up to where you can tell. But, yeah. palette is definitely giving me Barbie vibes. It's giving me that I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world situation going on. I'm here for it. I'm feeling it. I want to do a just dedicated soft-ish like mauve pink look with this. And of course, you know, a dedicated blue look and maybe put the pink underneath the lower lash line. I don't think I'd do a dedicated yellow look just because y'all saw I had to use a yellow um, coloring. And shout out to my girl, Lee Living Life, because that's only, uh, sorry, Colorful Camille, because that's the only reason I know these exist. I bought the whole little um, set. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking the collection so far. So I love the lip I have on. We have on Malibu Sunset. Um, I showed y'all the rest of them. I feel like when I saw this one in person as opposed to on camera, I can pull it off a little bit better because it's more peachier. I just have to use a brown liner because you know I'm brown and that light ashy liner ain't just is not fit to cut it at all. Um, and then I like the shade right here. So I like all the lip products they chose. The highlighter is okay. I'd prefer to look like Churro right here. It's just a little bit darker. But as you saw, it worked on my skin tone just fine. Uh, so I'm actually liking the collection overall. Um, and yeah, uh, those are my thoughts. The palette is good quality. The lips are um, nice. I like the fact that they use classic Willow lipstick since it is an older Barbie collection and liquid lipstick wasn't a thing then. So I appreciate staying somewhat authentic by using a bullet lipstick 
um the lashes they are really cute if i wore lashes i would probably put them on but as we all know i don't and the little mirror um i'm gonna hold it up in um to do the thumbnail but i'm not actually gonna like use it ever again i'm gonna just use it in the thumbnail for the picture to like give y'all some ambiance and give y'all a moment along with my snatch ponytail but yeah <laughs> i really like all the stuff i tried i'm quite impressed with this whole collection i hope you all enjoyed this video remember y'all diamonds let me know if you got this collection because it was somewhat nostalgic for me and then like the color store and the palette and as a makeup collector i was like i just have to have this collection so i have it but <laughs> remember y'all the diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed bye